next we are going to see about some uh, special arrays okay in that uh, special arrays we are going to see about uh, dynamic arrays and associative arrays what is dynamic array means uh, dynamic arrays allows size to be increased or decreased during the simulation run time getting for example we will not uh, mention the uh, mention the range for example uh, we will not uh, write uh, the fixed value simply we will write square brackets okay so during the run time based on the uh, based on your uh, inputs so it will automatically uh, uh, expand that array size are you getting for example array of uh, uh, simply you are uh, writing like this array of like this so this is an unspecified one right so during the run time you yeah, decrease that uh, that kind of arrays are known as uh, dynamic arrays then come to associative arrays associative arrays only store the elements used and have and have non contiguous indices of any type are you getting what is this non contiguous indices of any type yeah that means uh, in a memory uh, for packed array it will arrange in the contiguous manner one two like that okay but for unpacked array it may arrange it from uh, it will uh, store something in the some location in memory and uh, some other thing in some other location for unpacked packed means it will store in contiguous manner right okay now come to associative arrays associative arrays only store the elements elements used okay and have an and have non contiguous indices of any type that is uh, the storage for each element of an associative array is not created until that element is not accessed okay. up to um, what is structure structure are a collections of variable and are constants right it's uh, similar to uh, the structure in c right it's a collection of variable uh, and uh, are uh, constants entire collection can be referenced using the name of the structure each member within the structure also has a name uh, we know that inside a structure we have so many members right so each one will have their own name yeah yeah same like what we have seen in uh, scene same thing structure uses a c like syntax uh, struct is a keyword and uh, uh, these are all the members of this structure so what uh, how many members a b op code and address these are all members right so the structure name is instruction word this is a structure uh, name we can mention here also right struct yeah and uh, how you will access the particular member in that structure you have to mention the structure name dot this dot operator by using this dot operator we are uh, referencing the member in this structure okay and then to assign a value to the opcode uh, number suppose you want to assign some number to a particular member in this structure so you know that uh, you know how to access that particular member you have to use dot operator and you are assigning here the no one note here one notice here uh, net data types cannot be used within the structure net, uh, net means where where you know you can use int byte integer like that but net it's not possible to use now uh, here is one example in that example we are going to see how to assign uh, some values to the members in this structure so here structure can be initialized using a c like syntax for example this is a structure structure name is instruction word underscore t yeah the same example so int byte bit three uh, data types are there here how we are going to assign here int you know right for integer you are assigning 303 for a is equal to 100 b is equal to 3 for op code he tick h f f what you, what uh, kind of data type you are using byte, byte. and then uh, bit address of 23 uh, 24 bits so you are simply initializing it to zero all bits to zero so this is the way we should assign we are using braces right to assign this thing okay now we'll going to see about the default values in structure expression 
sum or all members of a structure can be assigned a default value here we are having the default keyword okay so if you are using like this uh, we know uh, you uh, you have to assume that uh, yeah that uh, yeah uh, previous example okay so here we are having instruction word on structure name for that default we are assigning zero that means what will happen set all the members of iw a b a address of code to zero we have to use this kind of keyword the default keyword has the lowest precedence and will be overridden by any data type specific default if you are using this thing and uh, after some time you are uh, writing some uh, some uh, we are assigning some other value to this uh, structure members so it will override that default value that is what they are trying to say here after that you have to write any value the value will override yeah by default initially uh, we can say uh, initial at the initial time what is the value of members if you are using default colon 0 means it will assign 0 to all in structures also we are having packed structure and unpacked structure okay so first we'll see packed structure packed structures store all the member of the structure as a contiguous bits in a specified order are you getting uh, actually packed packed in the sense that is a general one packed means suppose this is a memory okay in that memory uh, packed structure means uh, suppose uh, in one structure we are having member a b okay so it will store it in contiguous way zero to location one location unpacked means it may store here and in it may store here okay that is what so it stored as a vector with the first member of the structure is being the leftmost field of the vector that is a usual convention yeah okay and uh, this uh, packed structures are stored without any padding packed is a keyword as we have seen in uh, arrays packed and